Hi guys, Law Lord here, and yes, I am once again making a video about a time period in history that an Assassin's Creed game has not taken place in. These videos are really fun to make, and also every time I make one of these videos they always get a crap ton of views, so I will admit it's too tempting to not milk the subject. And today we're going to do the subject that a lot that has been discussed quite a lot, which is World War Two. Most people don't think that World War Two could work because of machine guns and several other things. Other people say that it could work. I'm on the fence. I'll explain what I think at the end of the video like I usually do. But first, let's talk about Assassin's Creed World War Two lore. I just want to say that even though there isn't a video game, there is a book, an Assassin's Creed book that's based on World War II called Assassin's Creed Conspirations, which is where most of these this lore comes from. And you can also find the lore on the Assassin's Creed fandom wiki, which is the source I will be using. Joseph Stalin, leader of the Soviet Union, Franklin D. Roosevelt, President of the United States, Chiang Kai-shek, the leader of China, and Adolf Hitler, the leader of Germany. In history, as we know, after the Allies win World War II, Europe is split. The West becomes independent, however heavily influenced by America and Great Britain and the other Allies apart from the Soviet Union. And the countries of the East are turned into communist puppet states of the Soviet Union. This was the plan of the Templars. The plan of the Templars was to start a war so that the Allies could win and via the Allies spreading their influence over Europe, Abstergo Industries would spread their influence over Europe. So even though Hitler was leader of Germany, it was actually part of the whole plan for them to lose. And as for Hitler committing suicide, in Assassin's Creed lore, he actually executed a double of him so that it seems like he killed himself. That was a part of the plan. He would kill a double, then he would rendezvous with the other Templars mentioned. However, where it went wrong for him is that he was assassinated by assassins after, soon after leaving his bunker. Despite the setback, the Templar's plan was a success. This was, however, until after Roosevelt and Stalin died, because although after Abstergo still had a lot of influence over both countries, eventually the Abstergo ended up losing their influence over the government which is why the Cold War happens. But this video isn't about the Cold War, this is about World War II, so now I'm getting a bit off track. Now, time for the question on where it would work, in which the most popular answer for this time period is a big no. But I just want to clarify that I won't be talking about who the main character is because I have not read the book so I do not know who the main character is, nor could I find anything that gives a description about him or his character. So I might be wrong on something here, so I do apologise. If you've read the book, I would like to know about this part. So my answer to the question on would it work, my answer is it depends on where it takes place. If it's on big battlefields with constant fighting, that would be a big no, because that's why I don't think World War I would work at all, because it's all about trench warfare and things like that, which does not work with Assassin's Creed games. Assassin's Creed games need to be in big, thick cities with a lot of climbing, sneaking, raiding, ambushing, stuff like that. If it's there's a mission 
where there's like a huge battle and you're a soldier, that would not work. But if you're like in the cities, like again, I don't know who the main character of the book is. The main character was like a French resistance fighter in like pa in the France and they get the mission of sneaking into German bases. That would work because that's what Assassin's Creed is all about. But what's the problem with the machine guns though? I think maybe machine guns would just have to be taken out and only rifles will be in the game. And uh, about the combat system, I said this about a lot of time periods and I'll say it again. We would have to bring back the old combat system. I'm probably biased because I just prefer the old combat system more. I find it a lot easier and also a lot more fun, personally. And also, I don't see how the combat system of Odyssey and Origins would work for World War II. For me, it seems. It should be the same as Rogue or Syndicate. Another big reason that Ubisoft would probably not make this game is because of all the controversy. Because of course, World War II is quite a recent event, and so all the dark and terrible things that happened, like the Holocaust and all the war crimes that happened, they'd still be fresh in people's minds, which would probably cause a lot of controversy. And Ubisoft would probably want to avoid that, for understandably so. And, but apart from all those reasons, apart from the controversy, I think that an Assassin's Creed game could work, but like, they'd have to be like, extremely careful. They'd have to make it perfect. Like, the combat system, they'd have to bring back the old one. Like, it's possible it could work, but it would be very difficult to make it work. And that's today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Let me know in the comments what you think about this topic, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.